Hi there, Frank here from Remec. And in this short test, we're going to perform another optimization test with our most advanced strategy, ProSDRBT. Last time we ran a test like this was last fall. So we have some new months in the database. It's May 2024 now. So we were wondering if our BT, ProSDRBT holds up in these market circumstances that we are in right now. So this will be an optimization test. Let me share with you some of the details. So as you know, in an optimization test, we don't want to test for too many factors because then we would curve fit the system and we would just make it very likely that the system would break down soon after new data comes in. We want something robust. So we're gonna test for some few but crucial factors here in this test. So here's the questions that we're asking NinjaTrader and NinjaTrader will give us the answers. Let's see. The first question, which time frame of the 5, 10, or 15 minute would work best for us? As you recall last fall, the best was 15 minute. Let's see if we get the same results now. Now we want a lot of trades in our database, so we're going to look back five years. So our test will cover the period of January 1st, 2019 to today, actually, you can see it right here. Okay, and then we're going to run this on four indexes, ES, NQ, YM, and RTY. If you trade the micros, the micros will give very similar results, but we're gonna run it on the standard test now. Okay, now the next important question for us is in this test, as you know, we have an ATR look back period. We calculate at very different locations in the algorithmic code, either standard deviation or ATRs. But what's the ideal look back period for the ATR? 10 bars, 15 bars, or 20 bars? This test will let us know, or will tell us the result. Last but not least, a very important factor here. As you know, in the edge, there are two ingredients. One is the accuracy, which means how many percent of our trades are winners and losers. And the other input that goes into our edge equation is the win-loss ratio. For example, my wins are twice as big as our losses. And we can play around with all kinds of settings here, but in this test, we want to keep it simple. We're just going to say our wins are exactly the same size as our losses, which means our target when we enter the trade and our stop will be the same distance from our entry, measured in ATRs. This is what we famously, and everybody, what famously is called the one R trade. All right, so we're not going to fiddle with different settings and play around. We're just going to keep it simple. And we enter the trade, let's say we're long, here's our target, here's our stop, same distance. The only question we're asking, which one will get hit first? No trailing. The trailing algorithm, although we have an advanced one, will be switched off in this test. So what we're testing for, which one will get hit first? That's all. So, and then we're going to test. Last time we tested for the profit factor. This time we might as well test for the maximum strength. And we're just going to keep the two best results for each instrument. So we can keep the length of the test and the potential iterations of the test at a reasonable amount. And this will only take a few minutes, thankfully, because our BT is lightning fast. So this is the idea. Let's run the test and then we'll look at the results. All right. So as you can see, 180 iterations altogether, and there's about eight minutes left, nine minutes left. That's a lot of work for Ninja, probably about 10,000 trades or so over a five year period. Very much an intraday time frame with lots of trades then included in the test. With all that said, it's pretty reasonable. It's only four minutes left, three minutes left. So as you can see, it's lightning fast. And as I always mention in the old days, we used to have to go for a bike ride or something because this used to take hours. Now with ProSDRBT, this whole test just takes a few minutes and you can gather an invaluable set of data to help you with your trading. So I'm just going to look at this in a visual manner instead of all these numbers. 
we look at the equity curve. Let's start with the best one. The NQ is 127 profit factor. That's the strongest one. As you know, everything, anything bigger than 1.0 is a winning system. So 1.27 is a very strong system. And you can see it visually, this is a amazing equity curve. Now we always, always must say, not every five year period will be this strong. That would be just impossible. Because you know, you start trading like this, you could buy the solar system in 10 years. So that's un unreasonable to expect, of course. This happens to be a good one. Not every five year period might be this good. But having said that, this equity curve is what gives us a very good confidence in the strength of the system. One more thing, as always, I mentioned five year period is a very long period. There's been COVID in there, sideways market, strong bull market, all kinds of markets on a 15 minute chart. So any equity curve that can handle various market regimes over a five year period, I think deserves some attention. So we had 1,834 trades. That's a pretty large database for the NQ, I would say. If it's 10 trades, 15 trades, it's not a very big database to, to pass judgment based on, right? But 1,834 trades is a large database. 53.93, almost 54% of trades were winners. Now, careful here because you will see stuff out there, 80, 90% accuracy rate, whatever. Well, we're not hedge funds. We're not banks. We don't have that information. 54% in retail trading is a very respectable result and very robust results. And as you can see, it would give us a very strong system to trade with. Now, what I do want to look at, though, is what are the best settings in the test? So let's look at these, okay? So first of all, in the brackets here, you see, this is the best result out of the three. So the question was, out of the five, 10, and 15 minute chart, which would be the best for us to trade on? And the 15 minute is the answer as given by Ninja Trader. Five year look back period. And then we, the other question we asked is, I'm just scrolling down here, the ATR look back period. Here we go. The next question is answered here. So out of the 10, 15, or 20, ATR look back period, which worked best in this test, at least 15. Normally we use a look back of 20. Interesting to see that actually 15 would give us a little better result than the 20. But I don't think the difference is that big. So if you're trading with a 20 look back ATR with pro STRBT, I think you're doing just fine. You must be. But if you want to really use the best setting, then here it is 15 in this test. Very good. So to sum it up, the NQ, 127 profit factor, amazing equity curve, some drawdowns here, here and there, but nothing dramatic. Look at this. And a robust recovery from any drop down here. Let's look at the YM next, which gave us a profit factor of 119. Here's the YM equity curve, just as strong. Here we go. We may want to look at the optimized results of the YM. I don't think it would be very different from the NQ, but let's have a look. 15 minute time frame. Okay, and then there was the ATR period 15, same as the NQ, so no surprises there. Let's look at the second best YM, which is just a slight little worse. You see, instead of 119, now it's 118. I think it's a negligible difference and the equity curve speaks for itself. Again, as you see all these drawdowns, so this was the equity high and we fell back here, equity high, we fell back here, equity high fell back here. So drawdowns are normal. Any equity curve will produce drawdowns. We need to build up confidence in the system, especially for, for this reason. If you trade this for, let's say five years, just look at this in January, 23, was it? We had an equity high. February 1st, 23, actually, US style date here in India, equity high. And then for a few months, actually, three, four months, we were coming back. So that was a drawdown period. And you need some psychological stamina, strength, and confidence in the system to keep trading the system. And look at that, it always comes back. 
and the drawdowns are never dramatically harmful, but sometimes it can go on for probably several weeks, even a couple of months. And that's just a sign of the market regime having changed, but also a sign of the strength of the system to withstand the difficult times and to recover forcefully. Let's look at the ES. Now, I must say before I click, the ES is usually the most difficult terrain because the most skilled traders with the largest accounts are usually active on the ES. So it's really... For retail traders, it's a minefield. Look at the equity curve. The equity curve just shows exactly that. This is probably the most difficult market. Worth noting if you trade the indexes. So the ES may be not the easiest choice among the four. Having said that, we did have a pretty difficult drawdown here. 2021, I think that was just about the COVID period here, out of which we came back forcefully. All right, and last but not least, just a quick look at the RTY. The RTY, as you remember, and as we have mentioned several times always, it had a large extended flat sideways period lasting more than a year. And this is what we see here. So our program trades trends and our program, ProSTRBT, was not built to trade choppy market. And the RTY famously, if you look back at the charts, you will see for yourself a long period of time, 1921, almost two years, it was pretty sideways. Now, we held up quite good, you see. Now, when you notice this, and we did notice it at the time, you can always switch off the system or migrate to another market, start trading something else, which is more trending. But as you see, since the system was built for trending market, as soon as the RTY started trending, the from here, 21 last three years, robustly similar to the other three. But again, this is important to point out. So life of a trader is never perfectly rosy, as we know. And we must always use some discretionary judgment sometimes. Just look at the environment we're operating in. If it's raining, I'll take an umbrella, that kind of thing. So the RTY was not really conducive for trading trending algorithms for a long, long period of time. The other three were, okay? So a quick result. And as always, we encourage you to recreate these tests. Don't believe anything we say. Do your own test. Check out the program. We have a two-week free trial for STRBT and... This is what it could do for you as well. Visit www.remeg.ca. We're in Toronto, Canada. We'd be pleased to be at your service. Thank you very much and mindful trading.